Microsoft website, reset everything back to default, and restart everything all over again. In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can delete your Home WordPress website easily with just one click of button. So this is basically a WordPress um, demo website here. So um, as you can see, I have already um, install a WordPress team before on my website itself. So some of you will be thinking of like, hey, you know, like uh, right after you have been spending your time in creating the contents, you know, in, in um, installing a new team, but right after that, you feel like you don't really like the layout or you don't like the contents on your website. You are thinking of like, whether or not there's actually a way for you to completely remove all your website, you know, the content on the website and, um, you know, like just undo every single thing and restart all over again into a you know like a brand new empty website itself so this is how you're going to do that yeah in order for you to completely um restart from scratch you will first need to delete your current installation on your domain okay you need to make sure that you remove and you delete your current installation of your wordpress before you can actually reinstall a new one yeah, so this is how you're going to do it. In order for you to do that, you need to ensure that you have the access to your cPanel. You can only delete your WordPress installation via a cPanel. Yeah, so this is how your cPanel will look like. Yeah, so um, before I share with you how you can actually delete, just to, um, you know, you need to understand how it goes. Yeah, whenever that you have um, a WordPress installed, all these files, right, the contents, you know, the um, images, everything will be stored under your hosting, yeah? So in order for you to delete everything from your existing domain, you need to make sure that you also delete all the database and the past previous um, content on your website itself, yeah? So this is how you do the checking, okay? So if you have already content and also the uh, website, the WordPress website in store, um, you need to double check under the file manager. Okay, so right inside here, we will go under the public HTML. Yep. So if you do have an existing website in store, this is where you can see. Okay, so all these files, WP admin, WP content, all these files is going to be removed. Okay, we're going to remove all these files over right here. Second, when you go under over right here, you'll be able to see this uh, MySQL database as well. Yep. So just to share with you. Inside here, you'll be able to see that some database being created by the WordPress. Yep. So all the images and all the videos, you will be stored over right here as well. So this database, we need to make sure that we remove or else when the moment that you're going to reinstall a new uh, WordPress, um, you actually crash. Yeah. So, you know, this database we need to remove, but we are not going to go through the complicated way. I'm going to share with you one very simple way whereby you just need to one click, yeah, one click of your buttons over right here. Very, very fast. Now, go back to your cPanel main dashboard, yeah. So, this is where you're going to go, yeah. Scroll all the way down, you'll be able to find a section called Softoculus App Installer. Okay, so this is a section that you will be able to see the WordPress icons right there. Now, different hosting will have a different um, applications. Yeah, so some hosting they might not might not have these sections over right here. So you need to cross check with your uh you know your hosting package with your cPanel access whether or not you do have these sections. Uh, yeah. So if you don't have, then unfortunately we will need to go through the manual way in removing all your files from your cPanel and also removing the database manually. Yeah. So no for those of you having this section over right here, good for you because um your you know your deletions of your uh, WordPress website, it will be just very simple. Only one click over right here. So click under the WordPress and this is where you're going to see, okay? When you scroll down a little bit, you will be able to see all your past previous WordPress installation will be listed right here, okay? So currently we only have one installations under the main domain, definitely, okay? So because 
one single domain, you can only have one um, WordPress installation, unless we are talking of like subdirectory. Okay, so currently we only have one over right here. Now, before I show you how to delete your WordPress, just to double check again, this is how my website is going to look like under this domain. Okay, right after I remove, I'll be showing you, um, you know, how, how it's going to reset all to the, you know, the default setting itself. Yeah, so this is how you go how it goes yeah if you can see over right here on the right there's this uh, delete button okay these icons over right here very very fast one click i mean not just one click yeah you need to click on the confirmation as well <laughs> so we just click on this delete icon scroll all the way down remove the installation and confirm three clicks <laughs> three clicks away that's it very very fast depending on your internet speed but usually it will be very fast okay installation was removed successfully so this is what you do you, you click under the return to overview okay so when you scroll down down here it will be empty there will be no installation at all and right now if you go under your website and you do a refresh okay so your website the domain you'll be reset everything back to the default okay so right now Remember just now when I share with you, you need to cross-check on your file manager and also your database settings, yeah? So just head back to your cPanel. We just do a final checking, okay, to ensure that our, you know, our domain, the file, everything has been cleared, okay? So once again, you go into the file manager, you go into the public HTML, you double check over right here, yep? So all good, all the files just now has been removed. You don't see any wp dash I mean, WP dash content, uh, you only left uh, CGI bin, yeah? So if you go back to your domains over right here, you'll be able to see something like this, okay? So this means that everything is all good. Your website, your domain has been reset back to the default setting. It's all ready for you to have a new um, installation, yeah? So second thing again, once we go back, we double check on your database, SQL database as well. Click under over right here and that double check down here. Yep. So just now the default, um, you know, that's one WordPress database, it has been removed as well. So if you do still, you still see that some, you know, WordPress uh, database over right here, unfortunately, again, you need to ma uh, manually remove that. Okay. So usually if you do that, follow me the steps over right here under softiculus one click remove you shouldn't be looking at that okay so this is how it goes so everything all clear okay so right after here you'll be all good all set that you can actually go ahead and install a new wordpress uh, website again yeah so this is um how you, you're going to do that yeah so um when the moments that you are free you can just click under the install buttons again and this is how it goes yeah so make sure that you know you install on your main domain itself directory you're going to remove you do your site name site settings you know your username and your password everything all clear and you hit under the you know the install button so once you do that very fast we come into here you will be able to see that refresh my website okay and yeah, you will get a new WordPress installation again. So this is what we're going to share with you in this video, how you can actually very, very quick with one click to delete your WordPress installation and also at the same time to reinstall your WordPress again. Yeah, so this is the place whereby you're going to look at over right here. Just click under the cross icons over right here. That's it. Thank you for watching our video. If you like our video, remember to click the comments, like and share. And if you have yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, remember to click on the subscribe button and most importantly, hit on the bell icon so you'll be able to get a notification when we launch our new video. See you in the next video.